Hello friends, today we've built a small ice maker that runs on a 12 volt battery. As you can see the ice has formed really well inside this. To build this we used a Peltier module, which plays a very important role in the whole process. So we tested this Peltier module using a temperature meter, because one side of the module gets hot, while the other side becomes cold. We've tested it, we've checked it, and in the making process the main components used are the heat sink and the Peltier module. The numbered side of the module is the cold side, while the plain side becomes hot. The hot side must always be attached to the heat sink. So we have taken a heat sink, as you can see in the video, and for better performance we are actually using two heat sinks, along with a cooling fan. The combination of heat sinks and the fan helps in proper heat dissipation, which is very important for the Peltier module to work efficiently. So we used a small DC fan like this, which consumes very little power. Let's continue in the video and see how it works. Let's imagine we are working on a project, say designing a battery management system product, with enclosure and all. Sounds simple right? Until we have component delays, board fitting issues, thermal problems, or safety compliance. That's where Altium Develop saves the day. In this we can capture all the requirements in one environment so everyone sees them. Then, its BOM portal helps to check the selected component availability, pricing, and life cycle status. For traditional schematic and PCB design, Altium Designer is already there. But the Altium Develop helps with MCAD, ECAD code design for mechanical engineers to check the PCB fitting. When the design is done, we get a platform where team members review and give feedback on context like safety and pin maps, ETC. After review is done, Altium Develop generates release packages with up-to-date BOM and design documents. And it preserves version history so we know who approved what and when. Finally, Altium Develop saves all of the data like version history to evolve the product during production. Our life gets easier with Altium Develop. It is faster, safer and smarter. If you want to develop a full electronics product, you can check the link in the description to know more about it. So in the next step, we carefully apply thermal paste onto the heat sink and make sure to spread it evenly on the hot side of the Peltier module, as you can see here in the video. This helps improve heat transfer between the module and the heat sink, which is very important for the system to work efficiently and keep the module from overheating. Now we take a small steel plate and with the help of thermal paste, we carefully attach it to the cold side of the Peltier module so that it remains firmly fixed and transfers cooling efficiently. Here you can see that we have fixed it very neatly and securely in place. So now in this step, we need to install a 12 volt DC fan. Along with the fan, we will also attach two small pieces of PVC on the sides. By doing this, the setup will become extra strong and stable. The fan will help in maintaining proper, while the PVC pieces will provide additional support, ensuring that everything stays firmly in place and works more efficiently for a longer time. In this step, we use four screws which need to be fixed under the fan. The reason for placing them there is to make sure the fan can properly push out the heat generated from the heat sink. After that, we also connect the wires, which will later be attached to our 12 volts battery. For a secure connection, these wires need to be soldered carefully along with the pin connector so that the setup runs smoothly without any loose contacts. So now in this step, we will connect the battery to the setup and run a proper test. Once the power is supplied, the system will start functioning. And to check its performance more accurately, we will also attach a temperature meter. With the help of this meter, we can clearly observe how much cooling effect the module is producing, how quickly the temperature is dropping, and whether everything is working in balance. This way, we can confirm that both the fan and the Peltier module are operating effectively, and the entire setup is performing just the way we want it to. Here you can see that our device is working really well, and the results are quite impressive. With the setup complete, it has successfully turned into a small ice maker. The combination of the Peltier module, heatsink, thermal paste and DC fan is performing exactly as expected, keeping the temperature low enough to form ice. What makes it even more interesting is that we achieved this using very simple components, yet the output is powerful and efficient. This small project proves how effective such cooling technology can be when assembled properly, and it shows a lot of potential for practical use in small-scale cooling experiments or DIY refrigeration models. Friends, share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care.